if you already have your server set up properly, then you can skip the first half of the video. And at this timestamp, you'd be able to see on how you activate the port forwarding for the voice chat mod. And the video will start now. Hello everybody, my name is Onik101 and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get simple voice chat working as a plugin instead of as a modded server for your 1.18.2 server. Currently the version supported with the protocol LB jar file, the plugin does not currently support 1.19, so I cannot be making a 1.19 video. Once it is updated, I will elaborate on how to update the first website and download your mod. If you have already done this and installed this in your mods, uh, what's it called, client, you can skip this part, but all you have to do is just download the fabric or uh, what's it called, forge uh, client for your version. And then you're gonna wanna go to the second link in the description and download protocol LB. The jar file we can now we need to download the server jar file we can put this in the same folder and then if you don't want to use port forwarding which is i highly recommend you don't so you have you can use this awesome application which makes things which makes things everything easier so you can follow along and it's called playit.gg this allows you to do port forwarding on any server without actually doing anything to your modern router and it's pretty much universal for all devices like Mac and Linux. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is, well, make an account or download Play It to start. So we're gonna download that. We're gonna download the Windows version since I'm on Windows. Okay, I made a brand new account just so you guys can follow along just like me. What you're gonna be wanting to do from here is once all your files are downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to open the playit.gg beta. And once it is like this, you're gonna wonder, hey, why does this IP not look correctly? Because it's the long IP6. There's a way to fix that, and I'm gonna show you. So what you can do, close the app, control panel, go to network, view network status tasks, click the main Wi-Fi, properties, and turn off protocol L6. And just turn off protocol L6. Close, close. Once you've restarted your computer and turning off IP6, you should get your IP4 address for the main IP address. There are ways to go around the IP6 problem, but this is the only way that I know of. This will be blurred on your guys' end because this does expose your IP address for your computer. So once that's connected, playit.gg will say account uh, has been found, but you're gonna need to make a tunnel. First off, we're gonna make your server tunnel. First of all, you're gonna wanna click manage, Minecraft Java, and then now we do the fun part. We're gonna start the server. So we're gonna hit uh, new, text document, run, and then change the ending word to bat. Trust me, this makes your life so much easier. This is how you're gonna be opening the server from now on. So in the description, I'm gonna be putting a paste, copy and paste uh, file for two gigs, three gigs, and four gigs. Depending on what you want, you should put on the server. I recommend three gigs if you're just running this off of like a regular computer because I have a separate laptop currently running as we speak that's running the three gig model and it's perfectly fine. So I'll be doing that now. All right, I am back. You can pick from one of these. This is gonna be in this run.bat file. For this example, I'm gonna be using the least resource intensive one, the two gigabyte. So I'm just gonna delete all of these and just leave it at pause right here. Control S to save, close. For right now, you're gonna to wanna to run your Minecraft client since you're gonna be testing it and I recommend playing on a client that has the voice chat mod because that's what we're gonna be playing with the example today. And so I already know it's gonna connect using this local IP because that's how play it works. So I'm just gonna click yes, then hit reset, add tunnel, then uh, boom, this is your server IP. But if I go to settings and then change IP to domains, there we go, gasbobby.crab.playit.gg. That's the main server IP you're gonna be giving to your friends. Right now, it is a vanilla server with no plugins, no nothing, currently. And so, now I'm gonna be running the server. And right, we need to rename this file to server.jar, and then run the bat again. Now it should load everything and close on in on itself. There we go. Open the ULA, change this to true, save, open it again. So now 
your friends if you have the this app open and the server open your friends should be able to join the uh what's it called server using this server ip but don't work don't hurry just yet because you don't have the plugin for the voice chat mod but if you just wanted to play on the server you can just go to add server copy the name paste it here hit done and scroll down Wait a second for this to load in all your chunks. There we go, it is done. We hit refresh and we open the server and boom, you made your own Minecraft server. No port forwarding, no nothing. Boom, Minecraft. There's me on the server because it's brand new. Fight F3, days played, zero. And this is a terrible seed, but that's not the problem. So I'm gonna type slash stop. Oh wait, I'm not adding it right. Slash stop. There we go. All right. Now, the fun part. Voice chat enabling. You're going to want to keep this open at all times if you want the server to be up. So now, if you want voice chat, we're going to get the voice chat plugin. 1.19. Even though it says 1.19, the, the, the one plugin that we downloaded earlier does not work. So we're going to click on that link. Now we're going to get this bigot bucket and paper. Right now, it only works for 1.18.2. We're gonna download that. The voice chat mod itself runs on 1.19. It's just the protocol LB jar that's in here doesn't. So we're gonna name this to uh, simple VC dot jar. Open the file location. Now we're gonna grab protocol LB and simple VC dot jar. Control X. Go to plugins. Paste. Once you have the plugins inside here, you're gonna go to back to play it, custom, set the local port to 25565, and UDP, hit set, add tunnel, and then boom, you got this now. So what you're gonna wanna do from here is hit edit. You can name the thing to voice chat if you want. And then you're gonna want to go to your local port and make it the same number as this one right here. So you're going to go to the local port, 35014, and hit save. Then boom, this part is done. So here's the little tricky part, depending on some of you. So now you're going to be going to the folder of where you made this, then run the server. Give it a minute. Allow access. Ignore what it says right here. Looks like everything's done, so I can go to Minecraft, join the server again. So now it should still say that I don't have voice chat connected, right? Okay, this is good. So we're gonna leave the server and disconnect because we're gonna have to stop it. Run the server, stop again. Here we go, protocol LB has been discovered and voice chat has been discovered. So hitting space to clear it. And we're gonna go to the server properties folder where you have the server, plugins, voice chat, voice chat server properties. And we're gonna change the port to the one in playa.gg right here. So we're gonna get the local address right here, paste it there, and the voice host, the server name, and remove the colon and that part. So now, this is the tricky part. In the voice host, you either put the actual name of the IP or if you go to the settings and show IPs instead of domains and put the IP itself in there so I'm gonna try this method first to see if it works I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna rename this so it can be at the top at always there we go that's running that and that is running so now we wait all right looks like the server loaded we're gonna join the server and then if you look at the bottom left corner, it should say that we're muted. But I can unmute, go to the server settings, and then boom. The server now works with voice chat. Congratulations, you are done making the voice chat mod work for your server. And thank you guys for watching because that is the end of this tutorial. Once 1.19 gets updated for the protocol lb.jar file, then you can update to your server. But other than that, Video's done. If I can get my friends to join the server and if they have the same mod as me, then it can join. And you are done. 
you are completely done setting up voice chat for the server on plugins, not modded. I'll see y'all later.